Jim on the Becky Show with my boy Big John Laughlin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, YTPC. You want it? You got it. Let's go. Welcome to Tobacco Talk, y'all. It's Big John here. Oh, over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Episode two coming back at you, baby. Big John, you just get back from the workhouse. Yes, sir. Another 12 hour shift. We'll do what we got to do. Ready for a nice change. Oh, yes. Ready for the weekend. Ready to chill out, spend some time with the family. Go hunt a little tobacco down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little trip tomorrow and see if I can find a little something, see what they got. A couple of interesting things that floating around out there. What you teaching on, son? Some of that um, amphoras in that uh, moonshine leather sandblasted old uh, smoky mo. The one and only Smokey Mo himself sent me. Nice. Mm hmm. What you smoking on over there, buddy? I'm on the pork and rip tonight. Mm. Teaching it in my Cherry Woodrow OMS. Woo! Cherry Woodrow poker. Look. Just look on. Oh, my. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful thing. A weapon of mass de chuching. Yeah. Chuching on that OMS beanery. Mm-hmm. We got a little a little Colombian. Oh, oh. Drinking out of the old Bears cup. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Go Bears. Mm-hmm. Well, what we got to talk to him about today? Yeah. About how I acquired a taste for them all, all of a sudden when, mm-hmm. when I first started teaching, it just it didn't keep me interested. Yeah. Uh, the room notes Rhonda really liked. I was probably nineteen years old, and uh, the flavors just didn't grab me. Mm-hmm. I'd smoke a bowl every now and again, and just but when I when I got into it four years ago. Uh, real heavy as a lurker in the YTPC. I picked me up some ar- aromatics, and uh, I mm-hmm. tried the Carter Hall. Everybody, everybody had Carter Hall, mm-hmm. and uh, got the got the uh, got the Carter Hall rolling. Didn't like the Carter Hall, but stayed with the arrows. Real interested in arrows, and then I. I found Light of Key. I found that Frog Morton uh, on the bag. Mm-hmm. And once I hit the Light of Key, I was rolling. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I stayed on the Light of Key for about a year. But just now come back to the uh, OCs, the over-the-counter blends, and uh, fell in love with Borkham Riff, and uh, really fell in love with the Five Brothers. I was on a burly kick, and that right there really, really hit the spot. Oh, yeah. I think every pipe smoker, especially when you're getting started, I mean, I haven't been in it too long at all whatsoever. And uh, I first got started, I think I went and grabbed me a little pipe and grabbed me some of that little cherry Cavendish Super Value. I kind of keep it up here by the desk, just kind of a reminder where I started. You should always know where you started, you know. And uh, that stuff will, will burn you. A month of Sundays, <laughs> it'll burn you. <laughs> my, it put my tongue in traction. I could, I couldn't. Yeah, if you don't have the right pipe, uh, that pork and rib will bite you too. Yeah, and uh, I think I went through and tried some Carter Hall, and it wasn't too bad. I love the smell of it. You won't, you won't, you don't beat those Burleys when you open up a pouch of Carter Hall. That 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 cocoa just is just in your face right. 
But uh, the one that got me was the Prince Albert. Prince Albert uh, got good memories in my household. You know, Grandpa smoked uh, Prince Albert, so it was uh, something that I knew my mom would like or whatnot, and my wife liked, enjoyed the smell of it, remembered her grandpa. So uh, it was something that everybody also enjoyed, and I liked the flavor of it. It uh, had a nice little mild flavor to it, so it was uh, it was the one that grabbed me to let me know that I think this is going to be something I stick with, and then we went out to the internet and found all the the other things that you find once you find the YTPC and get off into all that jazz. Yeah. Yeah, my grandfather, <clears throat> I think he had some Prince Albert and half and half and some Sir Walter Raleigh always around. Mm -hmm. Seemed like he liked that Sir Walter Raleigh best. And, mm -hmm. uh, I think that was the first tobacco I ever changed. Of course, I was just blowing smoke, you know. I, I can't remember exactly what it tastes like. I was just intrigued with blowing the big clouds, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's what I grabbed when I moved out, got married, and had me a couple of pipes. Back in 8, 8, 8, 9, you didn't, you didn't see a lot of young fellas teaching the pipe. Uh, I was a closet teacher, you know. I'd get it out at night when nobody was around, and, read a little bit, read the paper and fire pipe. Miss Rhonda said she loved the smell of it, but I just couldn't stick with it. I didn't like it too much. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but now that i got a little little experience under my belt, I've come back to them, and that Carter Hall and uh, the Borkham Rift, they're, you know, there's a reason they've been around so long. Mm -hmm. it's, it's got good tobacco in it, you know? Virginia's and Cavendish and that, you know, uh, quality you know oh yeah and we appreciated it you know until we come back and after been out there and tried this and that and then we come back and find out that it's good to back mm -hmm. well you know how to you get the ins and outs with me I'm I mean I'm sure the first couple pipes I had I'm sure I wasn't packing it right hell I didn't even have a tamper you know I was just I was just right. putting tobacco wet tobacco <laughs> super value in a rosewood who knows what made from china kind of pipe you know right. <laughs> and uh packing it in there and just smoking smoking away until my tongue fell off you know? <laughs> and uh yeah i'd get burned on the arrows oh yeah you know, they're, they're a little wet you know some of the some of the good the arrows the american arrows yeah, I get that tongue bite so bad, boy, I tell you. Couldn't cheat for it, that thing. Get take a break. Oh, yeah. Scared, scared to fire it back up. Mm-hmm. But the, you find out what type tongue bite is, and then you uh, learn to stay away from it. Mm-hmm. It's always a good lesson in pipe smoking, I think. It's one of those things that, you know, doing something right, you know, learning how to do it, and and doing it with care and taking your time and uh you know the the, the pipe will teach you all them lessons you know and, and taking your time and sipping on it and catching them nice little flavors you can you know you can pack up a bowl of penzance in in a five thousand dollar pipe but if you don't know how to smoke you ain't yeah you 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 you, you all you're doing is playing around that's all you're doing it's funny how certain pipes of smoke those English or like Penzance or certain pipes of smoke uh, Virginia better. Uh, just got to, that comes with experience finding which one's going to be the, the one to smoke the best. But mm -hmm. These, uh, I think people kind of look down on the, uh, I know I, I sort of look down on the OC blends in the beginning. Because I'd already experienced some of them, and I didn't get the wild factor. But, yeah. Uh, you know, after I acquired the taste for Virginias and uh, Burleys and, and knew what they were, I found out that that's some good tobacco. Oh it's yeah. Kind of affordable. You can find you can find it in any any of your local, you know, Walgreens or whatever. You know. Mm-hmm. And uh, most time they got a 
corn cob and a, a gray bow. Mm -hmm. And you can get into you can get into the hobby pretty cheap, you know. No, oh, yeah. And that you know, that leads right into, you know, finding you a nice little pipe in the beginning. And there's nothing wrong, like you like you just said, get you a little, little corn cob, baby. Nothing wrong with it at all. Cool corn cobs out there. Mm -hmm. That's got a little pot on it, but yeah. I think it's a Morgan. Uh, I think that's a Morgan. Oh yeah, get you a little corn cob. If you want to get you a piece of briar, get you a little Morgan Bones. You know. Get your Morgan Bones or a Gray Bow or mm -hmm. OMS or Dagner if you want to step up a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you know you're going to stay in the hobby. Oh, yeah. Find you an estate pipe. Oh, Corvette Jim, he fixes up some pipes. Mm -hmm. I'll shout out Corvette Jim. He just hit, he just won over 200 this past week and uh, he was in the hospital and uh, just a little work, and he uh, he just hadn't had time to really do a do a video. Yeah, yeah. And he uh, he, he wants to he wants to do a two hundred sub giveaway, but he's gonna he's gonna put it on the back burner for a while. I want to shout him out. Go check out for that gym. Oh yeah. Restores those pipes, saves them all estate pipes, and uh, makes them look like brand new. I've seen some of his work and uh, know some people bought some of his pipes. He's really good at it. Oh yeah. He's a, he's a cool dude, man. He he supported my channel for a while and watched my videos or whatnot and I can't say nothing but good things about him. I I want to make it out there to Ohio to the pipe show one of these years to go uh hang out with him, you know, uh Yeah. He sent me a message. That. He said, "You you you make it out here, Big John, you know, holler at me. We're going to go go sit down somewhere." And, I'm definitely gonna gonna try to get out there and meet up with him. One of the others, uh, I think we got uh, Frosty Piper. He's doing his uh, hundred sub gall or whatnot, and uh, made his hundred hundred sub milestone. Real good channel. Uh, I'm gonna check him out. I haven't checked out Frosty Piper. Yeah, the uh, other one we think about is the Blue Fin Piper, Andrew Cerigliano. He's got his three hundred and fifty sub gall. Real cool dude. Great reviews, and uh, yep. a great gall. His gall is real cool. I, I I like that. That's something different, you know. VR. His VR. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you could design your own blend, what would it be, and mm -hmm. what's in it? I think you get extra points if you do some tin art or whatever. Oh yeah, that's real cool. Well, we got we got Nashville coming up, old buddy. Not too long. Oh man, uh, about uh, six days now. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be fun. Oh yeah. That's where we need to do our next video. We'll be together on Friday and Saturday, and uh, we'll need to do a video from uh, uptown. Oh yeah. Get that, uh, we can have some live interviews down there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a it's gonna be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely looking Salam. forward. Salam has uh, hit me up and said he's definitely made arrangements. He's coming and that going. Uh, Grandpa Bones hit me up and he had some unexpected business to come up and uh, screw his plans up and he's not. Oh, well, it's nice that the okay. Godfather. The Godfather is coming. The Godfather of the YTPC is going to be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Long. Well, we got we got some we got some newbies just put out some 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 channels. Their first video. Um, yep. The one that I've seen and been watching is a uh, old uh, book lover. And uh, I haven't seen book lover. Let me try to. She uh, she did a she did a review of like a coffee pot that you you put on the stove or whatnot, kind of 
kind of like Turkish coffee, but different. She she explains it. I mean, real. Her, her voice is real nice, real smooth, and uh, I think she's gonna be a good presenter. You know. Uh, is she, uh, she a piper? Oh yeah, oh yeah. She's she's always you know sitting on the porch. You know, got a nice pipe or whatnot. I'm enjoying her channel a lot. Uh, definitely. I got one I want to shout out. Uh, she's been a supporter. I don't say lurker, I say supporter. Mm-hmm. Then Catalano. Mm-hmm. I was already sub to her. I seen that she uh, did her first video, her intro video. Uh, a lot of people's already sub to her, but this is her first video. That's Nelly Cantalano. We'll put everybody in the bucket and we'll go check all these people out. We're just gonna shout out some dudes and shout out some. Uh, if you uh, if you got a uh, a call going on and uh, we haven't mentioned it, hit us up. We'll we'll mention it on our videos at the end. Mm-hmm. Keep it up with me or Big John. Leave us a comment or a message or something. And if you got any questions, you know, if there's something you want to know or something uh, you want to find out, if we're we're no experts, but we'll we'll, we'll get somebody in here that that'll talk yeah. about it. That's right. We can get somebody in here that can uh, answer some questions. If we, Most definitely. We don't have all that's all it is to it. Oh yeah. Well, we got um. Still got the Danny Shore raffle going on. That's a uh, that should be t yep. tying up pretty soon here. Oh, uh, Ghost Cobb uh, information. One of the what do you call them? The committee or He's whatnot? The surprise committee. Mm -hmm. the surprise committee out there. Miss Harriet. Show some nice surprises. Mm hmm So uh, one ticket, I believe, ten bucks. Three for twenty-five. Go over there and. What? Get you, get you some tickets. Get you in on them nice you prizes. Can, you can find out more on uh, Harriet Heifer's uh, channel or you can go to the Briar Report. And I want to thank the Briar Report for picking us up, Big John. They, they uh, you, uh, give us a shout out on the Briar Report. I want to thank you for that. Oh, yes, sir. Briar Report for all your tobacco news and anything that you want to know. They got all the list of all the YTPC members, they podcast, they got they got everything, pipe makers, all the tobacco shops, anything yeah. that you want to know. And uh, everybody that's in the YTPC, they got a directory. Mm -hmm. Any of the goings on, they try to keep up with it. It's a good deal. Oh, yeah. Well, I think that's all we got for the second episode of uh, Tobacco Talk. We'd like to thank everybody for coming through. Thank everybody for spending some time with us here and talking about tobacco. Like I said, you got any questions or leave us a comment down there. Check us out for the next time. We're going to have some stuff coming up. And uh, that's about all we got today. So yeah, we'll Remember to go check out uh, Frosty Piper, uh, Nelly Cantalino, Corvette Jim. Yes, sir. And the book, what was the other one? Uh, book uh, Blue Finn Piper, Andrew. Andrew Sirigliano. Yeah, somebody book something, what you say? Oh, book lover. Book lover. Book lover, yeah. Yep, yep. Well, Check YT... Yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, YTPC, like we always say, peace. Peace.